weekly live on YouTube. I'm so happy that you're here with me tonight. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you are new to my channel, please let me know and we will give you a warm welcome. So I see lots of my friends hopping on and I'm really excited that you're here. I do have lots of announcements to share with you today. I'm just going to wait just a couple of seconds because I do expect a large, larger crowd tonight. Um, and for those of you that are on and you cannot, if I've had messages where people say they cannot comment on my um, video live, all you have to do is make sure you sign into your YouTube account and you'll be able to, to um, comment and you'll see your comments as well. If you don't have an account, it's really easy to just um, create an account on YouTube and just click on the link to create the account and follow the, the um, prompts and you'll be, you'll be fine. So anyway, thank you again for joining me. And I do want to um, tell everybody, um, thank you so very much for all your um, prayers, your concern. Um, I got so many cards in the mail, so many messages and texts, phone calls, flowers, gifts, and prayers. I appreciate all of them. And I just, um, it really means the world to me. So thank you. I did have my surgery last um, Tuesday and it went well. So the next step will be um, next Wednesday, a week from today, I have a doctor appointment for my follow-up. And then on the 11th and 12th, I have appointments with the, the oncologist and um, the radiation oncologist. Um, and then I'm going to start radiation after that. So everything looks good so far. I am still in, in quite a bit of pain, especially under my arm where they took out lymph nodes. But And today it has a really bad bump there. So I don't know if it gets any worse, I'm going to call my doctor. But for now, I think I'm good. And she said that the pathology report came back and with clear margins. So I'm happy about that. Um, at the end of the presentation today, I'm going to show the cards that I've been receiving. I got a ton of them. So um, I, I thank you guys. It's so, so nice of you to think of me. So with that, I do have um, lots of announcements today. So bear with me. Um, I do want to show you the ladybug class. This is my class. This is the, um, what do you call it? The um, create a la carte. And this is um, ended. H however, the PDF is on my blog at stampingala.com if you want to get the PDF. But it also, I do have like 10 kits left. I um, always make extras just in case. So if anybody is interested, let me know. And what it includes is the make and takes, as you see here, It um, and they come like this. Each, each project has a number and it corresponds with the PDF. There would be five packages. It also includes a package of these um, classic Mac dots and also the red ribbon. The, and the PDF. So if you're interested, send me a private message and I'd be happy to get this over to you. Um, next, those will be going out on Monday. Next, um, this is still open. This is my um, tea class to go, cup of tea class to go, which is, I, I just love it. And there's a four different options. Option number one includes um, the make and takes as you see it. There's um, six make and takes. It also includes the bundle. So the cup of tea and the um, framelits. It also includes a full pack of the DSP. And I'm ser sorry to say, but I, a full roll of ribbon too. Okay. So all of that is option number one. And that would be $80 plus shipping. Um, this alone, I believe is $46. And then, of course, 12 for that and the ribbon and the make and take. However, um, I do have option number two, which includes everything except for the bundle, and that's 46. Um, option number three is just the PDF for 15. And option number four is just for my team, and they get the PDF for free. So that's um, awesome, too. Then I have going on right now my, my In Color Club. And this you can register for until, um, let me see, May 2nd. 
And how this works is there's five new in colors every year. So for five months, you would get a full package of one of the in colors. For instance, the first month you may get the um, um, Orchid Oasis. So what would that mean? You would get the, the blends, you would get the ink pad, you would also get the re-inker, you would get the um, stamp and blend marker in that color. You'd also get the twine in that color. You would get the um, matte dots in that color. I left the ribbon over there. You would get that as well. You'd get a full package of cardstock. A full. Um, you would also get the DSP in those colors, and um, you would get the this set right here with the colors for that month. And I believe you would get, yes, yeah, you would get the sparkle paper as well in that color. And I think that's it. So anyway, it's, I don't add anything on to it. It's just whatever that would be if we added it all up, if you were purchasing it. But it's a way of getting it all, all of the colors, and you would have them all together in five months at a um, reduced price. Oh, no, excuse me. You would get all of that at the price, but you would also not have to buy it all at once. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let me see what else. All right, we also have the um, paper share and ribbon share. The paper is all the DSP. There's 12 different sets, and that is $49. You would get a quarter package of each, except for the one that's called, he's the man, I think it's called, the, and you would get a half a package of that. And the ribbon share has 11 different ribbons, and that is $30. And there's $9 shipping on that, but if you combine them, you save $9. So those are the things that are going on as far as classes. Um, I do only have, I think, like five spots left for my Christmas retreat in October, and that's October 8th and 9th. So if you want inf more information on that, please let me know because... Um, I don't expect that to be on very much longer. And then the cruise, my cruise for next year, I have it here. It goes March 26th through April 2nd and Oasis of the Seas. And it's the um, Western Caribbean. So if you're interested in that, registration is open for that as well. So I think that's it for the announcements. I hope so. I hope I didn't miss anything. So let me show you these beautiful projects that we're making today. I am using the hand pen petal stamp set. So I really like this set. And I have to be honest, I had tons and tons of the paper left. So I wanted to use some of it up. So that's why I'm including this beautiful purse for um, can take. It will hold like four to six cards in here and I think that's pretty awesome and you just open it up I have velcro on here like that so you can get into it really easily and hopefully I can get that straight again all right and then here's the second card and these are watercolored on a shimmery white okay oh and the best thing you guys have probably seen this all over the place um we have free shipping starting tonight, um, um, actually tomorrow morning, so after midnight, and um, all day tomorrow. So anyone who purchases $75 or more gets free shipping. So that's an awesome, awesome thing to take advantage of. So you would get the um, free shipping plus my make and take. So um, it's a great time to purchase. So let me go ahead and get started, and we are going to start with this one here. Okay, let me show you. And you know what? I didn't grab my water painter. Hold on one second. Somebody was over today, one of my friends, and she said, um, how do you get that watercolor so well? So I was showing her with my water painter. So it was on my other desk. So Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, this is kind of a fun card, and you can see that there's a window in here, and I also have another color behind it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so first of all, and by the way, this is the 
postcode for today. I got my printer wa working again, so I'm happy about that. And um, anyway, so this is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. And believe it or not, I even have the PDF done for this, so I will get it on tonight. Okay, so now this might be a little tricky. So this one right here is three and three quarters by five, and it's just basic white. Then I took another piece of base, basic white, and this is three and five eighths by um, four and seven eighths. And I took our brand new stylish shapes, which you guys, this is going to be a must have. I took this one right here, the second one, and I cut out the little circle here. Then after I did that, I ran it through the big shot to get um, some of the texture on here with the tasteful texture dies. All right. Then what I did was I took just this is a three by three. I could have even gone a little bit more, a little bit bigger, but um, it really doesn't matter. And this is a misty moonlight. And I just popped, I punched out a two and a half inch circle. Now that item is retired, but you could use the, um, one of the layering circle dies in the same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take our glue here. And just be careful with the glue that you don't put too much on it. So we're going to go around. Let me get my glue started. We're going to go around the edge here on the back. Pretty close to the edge. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to pick up this piece and we're going to center it. Oh, that went on really easily. Once you get it in place, just kind of stick it down. So now you can see there's the inside circle. So it gives it a nice little added bonus there. All right, let me grab my dimensionals. I have like 5,000 of them around here. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to the original piece of basic white. And I have a piece of... Um, the DSP, and I cut this at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And all I'm going to do is kind of place it in here. But before I stick it down, I'm going to take this piece and see if I have it in a good spot. And I do. Okay, so I can remember that where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just like that okay and just make sure that you have it straight because they are there are lines in it all right so now I'm going to turn this over and put some dimensionals on it I do need to grab my scissors and of course they're not handy oh well Oh, thanks, ladies. I'm glad to be back. It's been a crazy couple of months, to say the least. I'm really, really happy with my team of doctors. Um, they are fantastic. I can't find my other scissors either. <laughs> okay, see how I'm putting them around the circle too? I'm doing that because I don't like the circle to kind of sink. And by the way, I am thinking about doing a bingo online again, a Zoom bingo with a new catalog. And for those that of you that have seen the catalog, is there any particular stamp that you like in there that you would like to see me do a bingo with. Please let me know. 
All right, so I have all this off, and then what we're going to do, this is kind of tricky because, um, because I have so many dimensionals on it. I don't get very much wiggle room to get this right. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get it right. Oh, it looks perfect. All right, good. So now we're going to take the glue and put this on. I love cottage rose, but then again, I love um, working with the flower stamp sets. They're so um, easy to work with. Okay, so so far, this is what it looks like. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now we're gonna move on and we're gonna stamp the flower itself okay so this time I'm gonna pull in my little um, sponge thing here and I need to use stays on because I'm watercoloring and today I don't know which one of these was good I hope it's this one I don't think it is let me try the other one this is no lie I probably have 30 of these I just have to take the time to see which one is the best. So I see lots of comments. This one doesn't look so good either. I'm going to stamp it here so I don't waste my... Oh, this one's good. So I don't waste my paper here. Okay, so we're going to stamp this down. Any other comments? I see cottage rose, teacup, flowering tulips, stronger together. You know what I think stamp is really cute in the new catalog? Oh, perfect. Is the little um, one with the bird, it, the little bird with the punch that is so cute. Okay, so then we have the dies to match this. And by the way, the dies will be in the new catalog. However, um, it will. Um, not be bundled anymore. So if you don't have this and you want it, make sure you get it now because you save 10%. So this is just going to be die cut like this, okay? And I did die cut this already. So I'm just going to put this aside and bring this in so it's easy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and color this now. And I'm going to tell you, just like I told my friend Catherine today, she wanted to know how I get it. So um, I don't know. I guess she thought I did it well. So we're going to take this and see how I, I have some lighter color here on, around the sides. I like to start off with that first. And you can always add darker. And then when I put my brush down, I kind of make it fatter. I push on it to like widen the brush, the bristles, I guess you'd say. So basically, I'm putting a light wash on first, and then I can come back and add color. Now this color, Misty Moonlight, is also retiring. So this is, I really like this color. This, and I love Seaside Spray. Remember Seaside Spray from last couple of years? I really like that. Okay. Nicole, you're just, I think you're just biased. Also, when you're using watercoloring, I know I've said this a lot, but just make sure that um, you use watercolor paper or our shimmery white. It just holds up nicer. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the darker portion. Oops. And then I can add darker in here. I'm not a professional, but um, and watercoloring, but it seems to look pretty.
<laughs> Is that right, Margaret? Now the inside of the flowers I did in um, petal pink, but you don't have to use the ink. If you have just the um, Stampin' Blend marker, you can use that too. Okay, so now you just clean off your brush a little bit, and I'm just um, blotting it on a paper towel over here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to grab the mint macaron. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just start with the light. And that's really light because I think I have too much water on my brush. Let me get some more. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Rita. Okay. So going back with the, with the mint. Who is Mama Mac? <laughs> I like your name. Okay, and then I'll just go back and add a little bit of darker color. Stampin' Up! makes it easy. All you have to do is follow the lines where they have it highlighted. And you feel like an artist. Okay, so now... I am just going to take, I have my light petal pink, and I'll just stick that in there. That's good enough. All right, so you can see how pretty that is. Okay, so we're going to bring back, bring the card back in, okay? And let me see what we're going to do here. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. Okay, and just know that it's going to go about right there. Okay, so we'll have a few dimensionals. Ladies, don't forget if you're new to let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And also, um, if you're listening and, you're, and you can't um, comment, just make sure you log into your YouTube account and then you can comment. Is that what is, everybody is doing that is commenting? Okay, so this is going to go down right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so let me see what else we're going to do here. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Pansy um, Patch because I like the sentiments. So I'm using the sentiments out of this, okay? All right, so um, we're going to bring this back in, our little spongy thing. And this time I'm going to use the um, Misty Moonlight and we're going to stamp Happy Birthday. Um, yes, I can do an adhesive sale soon. I'll probably be doing one in June. Okay, so I got that stamped. And then these really awesome stylish shapes again. What I did was I ran it through the die cutting machine with this one. We have four different sizes of this. Okay, so that's how I ran that. And it comes out looking like this. Okay. So it's a perfect little thing there. All right. And then I also took a piece of um, mint macaron. And this die I just love. If you don't have the brilliance 
rainbow die cuts. Oh my gosh, I love this. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take three little scallops and I'm going to save the rest for the second card. Um, no, the Misty Moonlight is an outgoing car, um, color. So if there's, if you like the blue shade, the Misty Moonlight, you really want to get it because it may even be gone now, some of the products in that line. But um, the mint macaron, mint, mint macaron is staying. Okay, so what I did was I just trimmed off three little scallops here. And then what I'm going to do is just trim the corners like this on an angle. So just in case, so they don't stick out, okay? All right, so we're going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just like that. That pad is the Stampin' Pierce mat. It's only $5 in the catalog. It's a must-have, really. Okay, so I'm centering that. So it just gives it a little bit of character, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here. And that, too, is going to go up on dimensionals. Um, you know, Kathy, um, sometimes I use shimmery white on the inside, and sometimes I don't. Um, if I don't use shimmery white on the inside, I'm just very careful on how I'm coloring because it um, basic white is not as um, forgiving as the shimmery white is. Okay, notice this is popping up right here. So I'm going to stick some glue behind here. I did this on my sample too. So I just have to hold that down for a second. And then this will go just right here. All right. And then I'm going to take the ribbon. And this ribbon is retiring. It comes in a set of three. It has this silver, white, and misty moonlight twine. And it also has a, a white ribbon and a gingham, and I think it's just jade. So I'm going to do a double bow on this. And I need my glue dots. Just going to make it a little bit smaller. Oops. And since it's two strands, I'm going to separate them so it looks a little prettier. And we'll take a glue dot here. What side are these on? And I'm going to stick it right, I think I'll stick it right there. Oh, I forgot to say, too, the winner for sharing my video is Karen um, Dyer, and I will be sending her a pack of, let me see what I pulled, um, Tasteful Label Dyes. Okay, so Karen, watch for these in the mail. All right, so we're going to trim this just a tiny bit as well, because they're a little long. All right, and then we're going to grab our little um, square matte little in-color gems here. And let me see. We're going to take a larger one. Uh, let me get a different thing to pick these up with. We'll take the larger one here. Got to make sure you get the sticky stuff on the back. And a smaller one right here okay so here is the outside of your card all right thank you peggy and then we're going to do the inside and let me see what i did on the inside i don't even know okay so we're going to do some stamping here and kathy just asked this if i used basic white on the inside and i did this out of here. 
So we're going to ink this up again. I hope I grabbed the, the right one. I have to stamp it down again because I don't know which one I grabbed. Let's see. Oh, that's good. And I'm going off the page a little bit. Ladies, don't forget to share my video. Um, you can share it here on, you can share it on Facebook, on YouTube, on Pinterest. It just helps me to re reach a lar larger audience. Okay, so we're going to go back to the Misty Moonlight. Like my hands are full of ink. <laughs> and I'm going to just do this a little bit quicker today, this one. I hope you all had a nice Easter, too. I actually pretty much relaxed all Easter weekend. And if I were to be really honest, I slept a lot. <laughs> okay, so I got that. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit of darker. Yeah, Mother's Day will be here soon, won't it? Okay, and clean this off and get some of the mint. Okay, and one last thing, we're going to add a little bit of the um, petal pink on the inside. And like I said, you can use a marker because it's such a small amount, or you can use um, ink itself. Oh, one more thing. I forgot. Where did I put it? On the floor. So I have a piece of the little um, DSP, so I'm going to put this right here. So let me get a little bit of glue on this. Thank you for those of you that are sharing my video. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's funny, you know, um, I had just not too long ago, left my full-time job, so I had to pick up insurance for myself, and oh my gosh, thank God I did. <laughs> I, I met my deductible already for the year with all this that's going on, and let's just say I have a very high deductible. It's unbelievable what insurance costs and hospital stays. All right, so I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit if I can find my, yeah, my little trimmer. Is that right, Jerry? Okay, so one other thing. We're going to put a little bit of ribbon around this. And it'll look so pretty when it's done. And I may need to cheat on the back. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay. 
Let me trim this. This off. And just get this on the inside of the card, and your first card is done. I know you guys really want to see the purse. Isn't that the truth? You'll be surprised how easy it is. All right, so getting this in there. So I get to see Jackson tomorrow for the first time in two weeks because of my stuff going on. All right, so here is your first card. I hope you like it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next card, and that is this one right here. Now, I want to tell you I made one change, and I made this panel a little bit smaller because I wanted more of the blue showing. So we'll see which one we like better, more or less of the blue. Okay, so let me pull this one in. Oops. And this is the other orientation, okay? So this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay? So the outside, we have basic white that's um, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then we have a piece of misty moonlight that I embossed. And this is five by um, three and three quarters. So we're going to get this adhered to the basic white and also to the card base. Yes, they are the best medicine. We've done FaceTime and everything, but it's not the same. Okay, so we got that down. And we'll put this on. All right, so we got that. And now I have a strip here, and this is one by five. Oh, you know what? I cut it too short. It needs to go all the way to the end. So let me get a piece of um, of the DSP. I don't know what I was thinking. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was the wrong size. So good thing everything is handy. Okay, so I got the right size now. So it's going to go all the way across. See that? All right, so we're going to put some glue on here. I could have um, just cut it in half and stretched it to the sides, and that would have worked. But I'm going to do it the right way for a change, huh? Okay, so I got that on there just like that. All right, so we're going to do some stamping. And the stamping, let me grab this again. Now we are going to use the two different colors again. So we're going to make, see back here, how we have these stamps behind the actual image itself. So let me show you. We're going to take this, ink, this stamp right here. All right, and it's going to go about right here, and then again here, and one more time at the bottom, just like that, okay? Then we're going to take the Misty Moonlight, and this time we're going to stamp off, okay? So we're going to ink it up. Stamp off and stamp on. I wanted it a little lighter. Now, if your ink pad is not as juicy as mine, then you don't have to stamp off. But I felt it was really dark.
Okay. So then what we did is I embossed it with the um, Tasteful Textile embossing folder. So it came out like this. Okay. So it's all embossed already. So we're going to put it, um, adhere it to a piece of mint macaron. Oops. Hey Maureen, I haven't talked to you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so we got that down. Now this time it's going to go up on dimensionals. Now see what I mean about having a bigger um, mist, misty moonlight border. I think I like it better. Okay, so we're going to put it on dimensionals. apart. So does anybody have any other comments on the bingo on what I should be using? I'd love to hear your comments and I do look back at them so and if you're interested in any of those classes and need the information please send me a private message just in case I miss it on the video. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. So I'm going to get it nice and centered. Let me pick it up and see if it's centered. It needs to go a little bit higher. That looks good. Okay, and then we're going to do some stamping. And we're going to stamp the other flower this time. So that's done. We're going to bring this one in. Okay. And it's going to be die cut. Oop, I just got it on my fingers. I really got it on my fingers. Hold on, I dropped it. <laughs> oh, wow. Maureen, that's awesome. What kind of things are you making? I got to do this again. I know when I do craft shows, I um, candy packaging comes works out best at my craft shows. I hardly sell any cards. Is that crazy? Okay, so it looks like that. And then we just die cut it with the same set of dies. And that would be this one right here. So it would be die cut just like that. Okay. And as you know, I already have it die cut. And I'll just bring it in here. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this pad out here so you can see it better. Okay. So. Since what color do I have on here? I think I'll do the green first since I already have green on here. Oh, good, Maureen. Let me know how you do with the treat boxes because mine sell like nuts. I think I'm giving up my craft shows. I'm just too busy anymore. But you know, I love doing them. A lot of demonstrators don't like doing them. They think they're too much work and they are a lot of work. But I love, love, love meeting the people. Okay, so we're going to do the Misty Moonlight now. Okay. 
it's it is crazy i don't hardly sell any cards it's really hit or miss so but i do sell a ton of everything else in fact um it's nothing to sell like four thousand dollars in stuff at a craft show but that's a lot of stuff yeah it isn't that the truth susie Only problem with keeping it on this pad, I can't spin it. <laughs> There's this awesome one right by my house, not too far from my house, that I've done for a few years and I just love it. And um, I'm turning it over to one of the ladies on my team. And I know she'll do well with it. Speaking of teams, if you are looking to do um, a fun business, whether you want to just, you know, um, get a discount for your crafting needs, I would love, love, love to have you on my team. We do have a great team. Some really nice ladies. Okay, so far so good. If you want information on that, um, just let me know. And I'm going to just color this in, the centers. Okay. All right, so now this is going to go on dimensionals. Oh, uh, Terry, that's kind of sad. You know, it's funny. I gave um, this treat box a little purse. I'm, oh, thank you, Kathy. I made this treat box for one of the ladies at the post office. Uh, and I gave it to her a while ago. And do you know, it's still up at the post office. She still keeps it up. I can't even believe it. Okay, so... See how cute this is? It fits right in here, just like that, okay? And then we are going to stamp. And this time we're going to stamp, thank you. And this is going to be in Misty Moonlight. Hi, Karen and Sharon. Isn't this font so pretty? I just love it. This is from, again, it's from the, um, what's the name of this? Pansy Patch. Okay, now again, I'm going to take that same set of dies, the new dies that are called the Stylish Shapes, and I'm taking this one, but I'm only using a portion of it, so I'm making sure that when I die cut it, it's towards the side, and because I'm going to trim a portion off and I did already die cut it see right here okay and then I'm also going to take three more of the little dies here yeah you missed a lot already um, Sharon but that's all right you can catch it okay so we're going to do the same thing and add this to the bottom Okay, so we're going to put the glue right here on the green, the mint macaron. Put this right here. Um, this, somebody gave it just a Spellbinders tool in one. Somebody gave that to me not too long, well, a couple years ago, I guess. Okay, so then 
this is going to go up on dimensionals. And where are my little minis? Oh, that's good, Maureen. I um for those of you that do craft shows, when I first started, I made a mistake by doing something that I thought was good. I only had like five different items and I had like um, 200 of each. Well, that's not what they want. They want a bigger selection. And so the next time I made like 50 of each item, but I had like 20 to 30 items. So, and that went over very well and I sold out. So, um, they look for a lot more. So if you do craft shows, you want to do that. All right. So I'm going to put a double bow on here as well. I might do a craft show online this year where I sell a lot of my items online. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Okay, so we have this. And we're going to get a glue dot. Put this right here. Turn these off. I really don't like using these scissors because they're my mom's ribbon scissors. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to add some more of the little um, gems here. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the larger ones. I believe these are on sale right now. So we'll put a larger one here and a couple of small ones up here. Now, remember, I did this a little bit differently than I did the original card, and I want to see what you think. Okay, so this one or this one? Do you like it with the wider blue showing or the smaller blue? Oops. So, so far... All right, so now we're going to do the inside, and the inside is quite easy. We're just going to take some, a little piece here of, of the um, DSP. I like the wider too. Now what would really be cute on here, I think, is if I had like another scallop here and I just put it on one side over here, but I don't like just two. All right, I like the wider too. So we're gonna put this down. So I wrote the PDF with the right wider. It's just a spellbinders tool. It's just what I had handy. And I'm going to trim a little bit. And back with the ribbon. Look, everybody likes the wider. I don't think anybody likes the smaller. Okay, so we're going to put this little bow on here, and this one will be done. Remember, ladies, if you'd like to see all the cards that I received, um, I can show them after. And if you missed any of the classes, I can show those as well, too. Oh, my gosh, Andy, of course you do. Andy's my friend that um, no matter what she likes and no matter what I like, we always like the opposite. So I can 
I can pick out anything that I know she'll like because it's something I don't like. Yes, you're right, Susie. There is a pick me up tool and I like that one better, but I can't find it. I had it in my desk and now I can't find it. Andy, isn't that the truth? Okay, so here is your second card. Okay, so far so good. Now we only have one more project to make and I think you're gonna like it. So let me get some of this out of the way that I won't be using to just give myself some space. Okay, so this is the purse we're gonna make. Okay, and if you took this out of here, it would fit four to six cards and the M. So, okay. all right, so let me get started with this and show you what we have going on here. Okay, so this is a piece of DSP and it takes a 12 by 9 piece of um, DSP. So, on the nine inch side, it's scored at um, one and a half and seven and a half. You turn it and it's scored at one, five and a quarter, six and three quarters, and 11, okay? So you're gonna fold on all the score lines. I'm gonna turn it over on this side. It's easier to see. Well, no side, it's easier to see. So you're gonna cut on the score line as it's really hard to see up to the intersecting score line, okay? So see this right here. Okay, and then, gosh, let me see if I can see it better. It is really, really hard to see. Hold on, let me take my um, phone folder and see if I can get the lines deeper. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, that's better. All right, so we're going to cut on this one. Here too. And then here. You're going to flip it over. Thanks, Kathy. And then we're going to cut up here. And I hope I'm cutting straight because it's really hard to see on this paper. It's funny, it didn't seem as difficult on the other one, on the sample. And one last cut. So all you're doing is cutting up on the sides, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, see what I mean? See how the sides are all cut up? Okay, so what we're going to do is determine what side is the front. So we're going to make this the front. So what I'm going to do is take, I did run this through the, the die cutting machine. Let me just pop these out real quick. See, I have these. I ran a piece of Misty Moonlight through the die cutting machine. It's just the scallop die from the rain, brilliant, rain, brilliance, rainbow brilliance or brilliance rainbow. I don't know. Okay, just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on the, just on the portion that's going to be um, under the flap. Okay, so we're going to run it right here. Don't go past that. And the easiest way to do it, I think, especially on camera, is to put that straight and kind of just pick it up. Making sure that you got it centered. And that looks pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now this is going to be the front. 
So then we're going to take the center um, tabs, put some glue on it, and then we're going to fold this up to meet it. We're folding the back forward and making this even. Okay, see how I did that? I just folded it in. Same thing over here. I'm going to fold in this tab, put some glue on it, and just connect it to the back panel. Making certain that it's straight and even, okay? All right, and we wanted the back to come forward so then the front will go towards the back and it'll be nice and um, there won't be any seams in the front. Does that make sense? So now we can just lay this down like this, put the glue here just on this big panel right here, and we're going to bring this up to match. Make sure that you have it straight. And then you can just stick your hand in here and make sure it's straight or sealed really well. Okay, so now we're going to do this side. Bring this up and straight. All right. So far, so good. Okay, so now we're going to fold this down, but we're not going to fold the sides in yet. So we're putting glue on the, the inside of the front and folding this down. See that? We'll fold the back down. We're going to put some glue on the back. Ooh, make sure this is stuck. Now, you could put the trim all the way around. I did not do that. I think um, I would go crazy when it was time to cut the, all the uh, make and takes. <laughs> so anyway, so, so far so good. Remember, we want the front to go last. So now we're going to bring the back forward. So we're going to put the glue on here. Oops, bring this forward. Make sure that it's even with the top here. You don't want it all jagged. And then, oops, it needs to go down some. And then put the glue on the final piece here and wrap it around. Now that will make it the sides sturdier too. You could cut them off, but I didn't. I want it sturdier. So the glue here. And the final piece right here. Okay. Oops. Okay. So in essence, the purse bottom is made. Now I need to get something to wipe my hands off because I got glue all over. All right. Thanks, Linda. All right, so now, if you notice, I have some trim on here, okay? Let me show, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can do it with um, tear and tape, but the um, I don't know that it would cover, let me see. I don't think it's, it's too wide. Our tear and tape is too wide, so you would have to have a really small, um, or narrow tear and tight. Okay, or you can just take glue and or you can do glue dots. But what I chose to do is just put a bead of glue on here, just like that. Take our ribbon and just lay it on there, right on top of the glue. Now don't over glue it. Don't put too much on. Okay, so I got the side on. Then what I'm going to do is just 
put a bead of glue across here. And put that down. It just makes a huge difference, this added step. See what I mean? All right. And you can turn it over like this and just press on it a little bit. Okay. And then these make and takes this week are going to get a lot of ribbon. Okay. So we're going to wrap this around the side. Press. And we're on to the last part. Lightly push it down. And then when you get it all the way to the edge, just clip it right in the corner. And they'll come right together. Look how perfect that is. Okay. So there is the bottom of the purse. Oh, thanks, Mary. Okay, so, and it's really easy. Oh, and you know what? I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, so now we're going to go on to some stamping. So I love, love, love this stamp, and it's in the pansy petals. So where did the... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to ink this up with the Misty Moonlight. And again, look at how pretty that font is was wishing you a little happiness just because you're you. So wouldn't that be a great gift to give somebody with this sentiment and um, some cards in this bag? I think they love it. Okay, so then we're going to take one of the dies again, which is this third one down. And I did already die cut it here. Okay, so it looks like that. We're going to put some glue on the back of it. And we're going to adhere it to a two and a half inch circle. No, two and a quarter, I'm sorry. That you could do with um, a die or a punch. Okay. And then I have one of the scallop circles from our um, layering circle dies. So this will go up on dimensionals. And believe it or not, we're almost done with this purse. Thank you so much, Fatima. Okay, so we're going to put this down just like that. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and put one of the little gemstones on here. It'll be easier since it's flat and I don't have to mess with it on the purse. Okay, so just like that. Then I have two pieces here. Now this was the excess that I cut off side from the 12, um, 12 by nine. There was three inches extra on the side. So what I did, this is one and three quarters by 11, and this is one and a half by um, one, 10 and a half. Okay, so we're gonna put, we're gonna use the back side uh, of this paper. So we're going to glue it. I could have chose to put this one on, but I'm doing the other way. And then just make sure certain that you get this on here straight. And it's straight all the way. Okay, just like that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our bone folder and just kind of curl it a little bit, okay? I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to put this 
just far enough so that this part right here doesn't show through. Does that make sense? So right down to the bottom, and that's perfect. So I could put this on with glue if I wanted to, and um, I think I will. I'll put it on with glue. So this bottom portion, I'm going to glue, put glue on. And just far enough so you don't see the back. I can turn it over and that looks perfect. Okay. All right. So I got that. And then what I'm going to do is take some tear and tape on the other end. And I'm going to put a few rows of tear and tape. Um, you could put any kind of cards in. If you wanted to do it as a gift, um, you could put a collection of cards from like Get Well to Sympathy, Happy Birthday, Happy Anniversary, Thinking of You. Any of those um, are perfect, really. Okay, so now this is how I'm going to show you how I did this. So what I want to do is center this. Oh, this is the back. Good thing I, all right, center it like this. And if you look, the scallops will help you center it. So if you notice, there's two solid ones, a half one. So two solid ones and a half one. And see the, the two scallops there? So that's where it'd be centered, right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, where'd it go? Right here. I'm going to take two sets of the Velcro strips. I probably don't need two sets, but I'm doing two sets. Okay. All right. So I just get these at Joann's. And if I take this off, this is the center because you can count them, the scallops. So that's going to go right there. All right, and then, did it stick to me? Okay, where'd the other one go? <laughs> I guess I gotta cut another one off here. I'm not gonna look for this little white thing, it'll drive me crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna take another one and go down below, okay? So I'm just going to bring it down like right here. So I know that's centered because it's the center of the scallops. And we know they're even. All right, so then we're going to take this and we're going to get it in place by centering it between the scallops and making certain that you got it straight. Okay, and then just press. So we're going to press it on there. Okay, and then the other end... We're going to remove these. Don't forget, ladies, um, if you're placing an order, don't place it tonight. Place it after midnight um, mountain time tonight because that's when the free shipping starts and you want free shipping. It has to be a $75 order, but it's a great deal. And you get these make and takes too. So then I'm going to bring this down just below my first. Um, oh, look, I found my little thing here. Um, below the first little um, strip of um, tear and tape. And I'm going to press on this really well. All right. So there is your purse. So if you just carefully pull up on that, and then you can always just put it back in place, just like that. And it always looks good with fill inside here, or if you want to take your cards here, like this is four cards. I'll show you how four cards will look. And I have it designed so the envelopes, envelopes are larger, so they'll fit in here too. 
And look, there's four cards in there and, and my cards are layered. So you can see this would make a great gift for somebody. Okay. So again, um, if you would like these make and takes, please just place a minimum $35 order and I'll be happy to send you these make and takes. But if you order 75 or more, you get free shipping. So that's what you really want to do. Okay. So here are the projects today. This is the, um, the host code for this week. Make sure you put that down. Now, is there any, did you need to see the classes again? Or um, do you just want to see the cards that people sent me? I did get tons and tons of cards. Now, some of them I may have shown you already, but I received so many cards, you will not believe it. Look at this. <laughs> I got tons of cards. So, anyway, um, and then I got an interactive card here. I got this from a friend, and her name is Laura. Is that cute? And um, she's battling can cancer as well. So thank you, Laura. Look at this beautiful card. And I believe this one is from Cheryl. Another one on my team. Um, this is from Monica Granger. How cute that is. I love that paper. Um, let me see. Carol Selinski, one of my customers. Another pretty card. This is from... Uh, Trisha, I love them. It's so nice. I this is the most cards I've ever received. My friend Claudia, she's on my team as well. You may see some of her videos. This is from my friend Kathy, who is on my team. Another one, Barb, who is on my team. Look at all these beautiful cards. Terry, I know this is from Terry. Look how cute that is. And, oh my gosh, is this funny? You can have never have enough bubbles. Um, this is from Christy. She was my first friend in Stampin' Up! And Kathleen sent me this beautiful little Easter card. Um, let me see. Uh, this is from Doreen. She sent me a really nice note here. She's on my team as well. Um, let's see. Mary, how pretty is this? Is that beautiful? And this one is from Linda Benson. I met Linda on my cruise for the first time. Um, this one is from Nancy, I believe. Yep, Nancy's on my team as well. You may see her videos as well. Um, Cynthia Do Doyen, isn't that pretty? I love the watercolor. And I believe I showed you this one before. This one is from Maureen. Yep, Maureen. So I love the pocket cards. Um, Anya, I, I believe I showed you this one too. And, oh, I can't show you these. These are so personal <laughs> from my friend that passed away. I know I showed you this and this. Yep, I showed you these. Um, yep, I showed you all these. Um, I don't know if I showed you this one. This is from Sharon Hassett. I, I don't think I showed you this. Um, let's see. This is from Mary as well. She's on my team. Oops, what is this one? From Carrie, and this is from Home Office. So pretty. Um, my friend Kathleen, look how pretty this one is. She used to come to my classes. She has the prettiest handwriting, too. I envy that. Another one from Claudia. Is that pretty? And I think, yeah, I showed you all of these already. So I don't want to. Go through these again but i got tons and tons of cards so thank you so so much i i really feel 
loved and I feel the prayers and everything else. Um, so classes, I'll just show you this real quickly. This is the tea, um, the cup of tea class to go. And I have four options. It includes, option number one includes the six make and takes. Oh, here's the six card. Six make and takes. It includes the bundle here. And the bundle I think is 46 or something like that. It also includes a full pack of DSP and a full roll of the ribbon. Now this um, option number one is $80 plus shipping, I believe. And then it also um, includes all that you see here plus the PDF. Option number two is everything that option one has with exception of the, the bundle. So if you already have the bundle or you're a demonstrator and you buy the bundle from yourself, option number two, I think is $46. Option number three is just the PDF for 15, and that's already on my um, blog. And option number four, the PDF is free to my team, and they should have received it already. Okay, so that's that class to go. I also have the In Color Club if you're interested in that. And I have some extra kits of this class, and this is $42, and I only have about 10 kits left. And I always cut extra. It includes five make and takes, a full roll of ribbon, the full um, package of the classic matte dots, and they're packaged like this. So project one, project two, you'd have all five projects. This one is so cute. It has a little, um, what is that? A little coaster, a ladybug coaster. So this is $42. This is my Create a la carte, and it's already closed. So I only have about 10 kids left. If you're interested in that, let me know. So anyway, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it feels really good to be back. Um, and I will be um, starting my radiation soon, so I don't know how things will go there. But I appreciate all your prayers. Thank you so much, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.